Great show, eh? So let's get going. Since arriving in Hollyoaks four years ago, Louise Summers, the character, has had more than her fair share of steamy scenes. And last week, the actress who plays her, Roxanne McKee, saw off some tough competition to retain her title as Britain's sexiest soap star. And the winner is... Roxanne McKee, Hollywood. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much to everybody who voted, and good luck to Hollyoaks and everyone else. But more to Hollyoaks. Brilliant. She joins us now, and well done, and congratulations. Thank you very much. So were you expecting to, to, to win that one? No, I think it's, a, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek award, so you don't really expect to win it twice. You just kind of think, oh, it'll, it'll be uh, passed along to somebody else, for somebody else to smile at. I just wondered while. whether you perhaps expected to win it because your boyfriend Gary phoned up 50,000 <laughs> times. And my mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was my mum. You're not supposed to tell people. Yeah, well, you told us. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and th there was a bit of a, a dress trauma as well, wasn't there? On oh, the... yeah, and it was thanks to your lady who's here somewhere. I got to thank her again this morning. She sewed up my dress because it fell apart. Just oh, as, uh, Sarah. Just Sarah. 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 Yeah. Top girl. Yeah, she is Sarah. Did you sew it up? She did. Well done. Oh. Apologise to Michael <laughs> <laughs> Apologise to Michael Underwood? Hmm. Why? What did you do to Michael Lundin? Well, I didn't, but it fell off. <laughs> oh, he wanted uh, it to fall, fall off. off. Now we got it. Okay. But yeah, and that was just after I'd clicked. Because you know, as I ran onto stage, what? I did this to you. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> because it was the same problem as the dress from last year. I didn't want anything to yeah. spill. Did Not you have a lot of tape stuck in that area? Loads of tape. Loads yes. and loads of tape. Because that is a danger, isn't yes. it? Yes. Well, but not much for me, but... <laughs> you've got... Yes, well, you know. <laughs> They're, they're nice and perky still. Yes. Let's put it that way. We could have been the judge of that. Yes, let us be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> and the original, the original dress that you were going to wear, uh -huh. you had brought in from Spain, didn't you? Yep, it was a Lanvin dress, and I thought, oh yes, I'll wear that because I hadn't found anything, and I, you know, it was like two days before the awards, and I thought, right, and, I, and I'd been working, so I didn't have time to go shopping, so I found this dress, and somebody um, at a big department store, which I won't mention because I don't think we're allowed to, exactly, um, uh, phoned around for me and got this dress and said there's only one and it's in Spain so we'll order it in for you and I thought oh, that's fantastic so I got this dress back and it swamped me it was mm. the most beautiful dress but it just swamped me because oh, you but are a skinny mini there's a whole thing in the paper the other day saying <laughs> I'm a size zero but I didn't actually say that somebody oh. asked me what size I was but I, I don't think we should be so concerned about what sizes people are. I think we should just be healthy, and and it doesn't matter that, you know, I'm I'm small and somebody else is you know bigger than me. I think we should just be healthy about what we're eating. Yes. I can't suddenly grow big hips and, you know, no. Jessica but Rabbit boobs. But the problem is that people should even say to you, "What size are you? Exactly. How much exactly. do you weigh?" Well, and when you see in newspapers and particularly women's yeah. magazines, they're always writing, "What size? What weight? This picture, so, so and so was this size." Uh -huh. It's all fabricated. Well, it is. It absolutely is. Well, I wouldn't dream of telling anybody all of that no. stuff. Well, they Next don't do time, it for blokes. No, stick yeah. it up. Yeah. Be, what you should do is so, who's exactly. imagine, They always say when they put your put your age down as yeah. well. So Philip Schofield, thirty-two. Yeah, I'm twenty-one. Ah, 20, Inside yeah. me, <laughs> uh, twelve stone. Yeah, no, oh. but they don't do that for guys. No, exactly. No. So no, and also the thing is that you are naturally the size yeah. that you are. So to to be anything else, yeah. you'd have to unnaturally bulk up. Well, exactly, and I do I do think it's important to be healthy. And and don't get me wrong, I don't advocate being thin for the sake of being thin. I think that's ridiculous. But I I equally think it's important to express to young children that. You should just be happy with what you are, regardless of whether you're a size 12 or yes. whether you're a size 8. And size 10 isn't necessarily perfect, like the song says, because size 8 is nice and size 16 is nice. So, mm -hmm. you know, we shouldn't be thinking about also, that so much and placing also such. Unique. We've got to explain to our children mm. the importance of being unique. Yeah. We're not a herd. No. And some of us are blonde and some of us are brunette. And it's some all of us great. aren't really blonde. <laughs> So, you know, that's a whole Some other story. Some really brunette. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Roxanne. Some brown, but dye our hair grey. <laughs> yes, that happens a lot these Listen, days. We ought to talk a bit about Hollyoaks, actually, yes. because it is storming its way into the it nation's hearts as it one is. of the top soaps. Mm. And um, Louise, your character, she's in jail at the moment. This is to catch you up in case you haven't 
been on the case. Louise, your character, is in prison at the moment, taking the rap for the murder of your ex-husband, mm -hmm. even though your current fiancé did the deed. Yeah. But you've put yourself in prison to save him because he's already got form. <laughs> and now you're in prison, you've been beaten up. And this is an episode from tonight, because now you're in hospital with the injuries of being beaten up or having the fight. Have a look. They are going to try and pin this on you. This isn't going to go away, you know. They're going to come after you. And I'm not going to let that happen. Just think. Someone who is really down on their luck. What's their life? Their liberty actually worth? How much would it take to get them to confess to a crime they didn't commit? What? What if we could find some loser to say that they killed Sean? This is a bit of a darker side, isn't it? I know, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to Louise. find somebody else who's prepared to take the rap yeah. for, for some money. Yeah, absolutely. Well, she doesn't want Warren to go down for the crime because obviously she wants to live her life of bliss with yeah. her gangster lover. And she doesn't want to go down for the crime herself because for the same reason. So, obviously, she needs Warren to go and find somebody who will take the rap. And do they find somebody? Yes, they do, but I don't know whether I'm allowed to reveal it. No, no, I don't think you should. Don't I, because no. I, cool, I know you'd spoil it for us, so you yeah. might, that would mean mm. you'd spoil it for everybody else. So no. But it's good, there's a good twist. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's very hard, long hours work. I mean, yes, none of us work down salt mines and we have a wonderful time, but... <laughs> The hours you put in yeah. aren't the glamorous hours that people would imagine. No, um, you do. I mean, I wake up at six in the morning, and and then I go into work for you know seven for makeup, and then I'm there for five hours. No, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> but uh, and then obviously you don't get back till about seven or eight after you've been to Tesco and got your oh, got your shopping <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, many other supermarkets. Any, any other supermarket. So you're just you're just leading an ordinary sort of hamster wheel life like yeah. everybody. Yeah. And then. I suppose it's learn your lines, go to bed early, get up the next morning. Yeah, it is. That's not much fun for your boyfriend, because doesn't he run nightclubs? So do you live different hours of the day? Yeah, we're kind of like passing ships in the night. But he, he does sort of run clubs up in Liverpool and Manchester as well, and in Leeds. So he does come up north, and, mm -hmm. and I obviously come back down to London when people like yourselves invite me on the show, etc. Well, I mean, you're always welcome. Uh, but uh, but is, there was the lot written that you might be leaving. Uh, so yeah, know, um, what, what, what is the story with that? Yeah, there's, there's been various reports that I am leaving, but I am actually contracted for a fair while. Um, so, for the time being, I, you know, I'm, I'm with Hollyoaks and I'm enjoying Hollyoaks and, and my character's going great guns, so, yeah. you know, it's all exciting. Good. Very good, very mm. good. Well, thank you. Will you stick with us because we've got some yeah. fashion coming later. Do you want to have a look at that? Yeah, absolutely. It's outside in the wind, so you may, if your skirt's too short, look out, hang it's on very to tight. It. Oh, that's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> it's parasols actually as well, so you could do a Mary Poppins. You'll be you'll be wrapped round St Paul's before you know it. <laughs> well, that's later.